So you're signing here at the Adult Time booth. Yes. How has it been so far for you? Um, today has been so crazy busy. I ran a ran out of all of my pictures to sign that they brought for me, so I had to like go over to my other booth and grab something. Oh my to god. Sign. So yeah, it's been very crazy and the fans are very uh aggressive touchy today. It's kind of Are they? They kinda of are. Yeah, you know, I I that is one complaint from a lot of girls because some girls like don't mind being groped and grabbed and yeah. then other girls are like hey maybe you should ask me maybe you should like consider boundaries and consent I mean I don't really mind but I think like when they like start I they, like, touch you like yeah. your butt I'm just like okay yeah <laughs> one I picture's know. cool but when you keep taking like 20 I'm like alright yeah <laughs> I know it gets it gets a little much and it's it's hard to you know it's like you don't want to ruin the moment because right. you know, they're so excited to meet you and right. be like do it back off Exactly. But it's kind of like, and I'm really nice and shy, so yeah. I'm like, I do it, but then I kind of feel like I need to wash my hands. And <laughs> yeah, I know. That's one of the unfortunate things. So if there are any fans that come to the show that are listening, um, it's much appreciated by the girls if you ask and just kind of be respectful. Like, these are people. Right. And I mean, if you ask me, I'll be like, yeah, for sure. But I think it's the ones that just, like, do it. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I would have done it if you asked me. But yeah, yeah. Just treating you kind of like you're yeah, like an animal. object. And yeah, you know, like um, a petting zoo almost. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So you are um, a really important figure, I think, in this new movement where we're actually seeing trans stars getting more and more exposure. Um, it's kind of a new thing, and it's really wonderful to see. You were the first ever trans star to be signed to a contract yes. by a big studio, Evil right. Angel. So how was that when it happened? Like, when they asked you, were you surprised? Like, did you feel that it was kind of a monumentous moment? Um, definitely. I was signing for their booth, um, and that was the first year I won, and I was kind of talking to them about different things and doing things that have never been done before um and I think they definitely like took me under their wing and it was very awesome um they were very like hands-on and like whatever I wanted to do they were willing to work with me and if I didn't want to do something they didn't make me do it but they also pushed my boundaries you know I did double for them I did a few games all these crazy things that I never thought I would be able to do. Right. Um, but I love it because I just feel like I've learned so much about myself and about my body and what I like and what I don't like. And I think being with them, it's like I said, they just, they're very willing to let me do whatever I want. Yeah. I've talked to so many girls over the years that have talked about how this really helped them embrace your sexuality and explore it and like you just said recognize what they like and what they don't like so what is one thing that you found that you really like that kind of brought out in you that maybe surprised you a little bit um I don't know I feel uh, that's like a hard one I feel like it's taught me so much that I can't just like pick one pick little one thing. thing yeah um, I don't think I was ever, like, a big bottom, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, getting f***ed, like, yeah, it's hot, but I was never, like, oh, yeah, like, f- me. I always love just, like, sucking f- Okay. Like, I'm very oral. Like, okay. I love oral. Like, even on girls, like, mm-hmm. that's something that I enjoy is, like, f- Right. But, um, I think, like, after getting into it, I think I started to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, kind of getting used to it and learning like the different positions that feel better for me and what I like and yeah because it's one of those things that it can feel great or it can also feel terrible right like you need to do it the right way it like goes in and it just starts burning you like get it out and it's like that sting for like 30 seconds you know and I feel like when I first started that I'm very nice and very easy to work with so I would just like not say anything you know and I'd be in pain but like right. now I feel like I'm a little bit more vocal and be like hey like can we warm up the little off camera and like mm-hmm. make this more smooth on camera rather yeah. than being like jabbing and like yeah, yeah, yeah. going for it I mean I'm down for like the rough but like yeah. I need to start a little passionate yeah 
I think one of the nice things about exploring your sexuality in porn is that you're doing it on a set with a bunch of people and you're creating a product, right? So I feel there's so much more communication. Right, and I feel safe, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, on camera, it's just, like, you have a group of people there, you know, rather than just, like, going and meeting some guy and be like, hey, do you want to tie me up and whatever? And it's just, like, what happens if this guy doesn't let me loose? Yeah. Or, like, something like that, where it's on camera, I'm very comfortable now Mm -hmm. where I would probably try anything on camera just because I know that it's not real you know I mean it's real but it's like but it's 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 a manufactured Karma RX calls it manufactured intimacy which I actually really like because yeah you're right you're you're on a set you've got a bunch of other people around you're all working together to produce a product and everybody there is all about communication because you have to communicate in order to produce something so and it's something that everybody's comfortable with doing as opposed to being with somebody who maybe has poor communication skills and you're just like in their bedroom after like a night out it's like that weird thing that like you don't want to say something because they could take it the wrong way exactly and so you just do it and then you're uncomfortable and it just gets worse and worse and then you're like god i don't ever want that experience again yeah yeah hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.